Welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. So if you're new here, I'm Sarah. I'm a mom of five. They range from 19 to seven. I have kids on the autism spectrum. I have neurotypical kids. My husband is a veteran. He served in the United States Army and has dealt with PTSD and has effects from that. And we're just a family, you know, living our life, trying to make it work in 2022. And we are working on bringing that to you and keeping things real and in the moment. I always wanted to vlog and I've second guessed myself a lot over the last couple of years and I am working on changing that and bringing you guys vlogs and real life content along with shorts because I love to cook for my family. I love to do fun treats. We love to do crazy food. We actually eat pretty healthy too, but you know, the, <laughs> the fun food is what people watch on shorts. So, you know, bonus for the kids. But today is a fun video. Today is a video collaboration with my friend Tiffany over at Small Town 6. She does these monthly food challenges and this year is candy, candy and cookies. And this came at the most perfect timing. I'm the oldest of three kids and my little brother uh, said he reminded me that he needed the kids Christmas list. He usually buys them a fun gift every year, something they really want. And it's become tradition over the years that when we sit down and make a list for Uncle Jay, I usually do some kind of treat. And so we're going to do that tonight. We're going to make snowman cookie pops. So it's kind of a cookie. It's kind of a candy. And I think they're really going to love them. And it's going to be a fun treat while we go through Amazon and Target and all the things. And I'm going to bring you guys along with it. I'm also, guys, I love Tiffany. So I'm going to make sure her channel is linked in the description box below. And the ladies in this group always have the most fun and delicious looking treats. So the playlist is going to be linked in the description box. And I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe before we get into the video and like this video because not only is this a club video, I am announcing that we are doing 12 days of Vlogmas. We're gonna do three videos a week up to December 22nd. And then I'm gonna take a break through New Year's. It's gonna give me time to film. It's gonna give me time to film ahead going into the year. And they'll, they'll still be shorts. I'll have some of that stuff. But um, it gives me time to focus on the kids being out of school. So I can be, I can film, but filming and finding time to editing gets tricky. And it's one of the areas I tend to get ahead of myself on. So I figure in the spirit of keeping it real, I'm just gonna explain to y'all that's what's going on and that's what we're gonna do. The only exception will be when we will put up a Christmas video so you guys can see our Christmas and our Christmas Eve celebration and you know, see that fun compilation. Last year I omitted a Christmas day video and I actually heard from quite a few people that they really missed it and would have really loved to see it. So we're gonna do one this year. But, so I guess in that week span, there will be one video, so. And shorts are super easy for me to do and get up. So we're gonna do that and then we'll be back January 2nd or January 3rd. I'll let you know about that at the end of the video. I'll double check that. And then we're gonna work on bringing you content, family content, talk more about the things, how we navigate things with so much neurodiversity in our family and stuff like that. Plus. You know, and with that, including grocery hauls and all that stuff. So, you don't want to miss anything. It's nothing but pandemonium around here. It's really exciting having five kids. And I'm happy to have you guys along with me. But, enough chit-chat. Let's go make snowman pops. So, here's our supplies. 
We're gonna start with cookies. We've got mini marshmallows, which we just need a couple mini marshmallows and we're just gonna need a few of these chocolate chips. Oh, the caramel are for another treat. And then we're gonna use the caramel and chocolate chip in another fun recipe later. And see, we've got mini Oreos. I can't wait to show you guys what we decide to do with them. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. A little bit more trial and error than I thought so I'm doing like Gracie's doing dishes and I'm working on them so let me show you what I did um, I crumbled I don't know ten eight ten cookies ish in a bowl and then I added frosting until it would all come together so that I could form balls see how that will hold together really well and it took about a half a thing of frosting i'm just using this belly part and buttercream these were oh uh, they taste good and moist but they were dry a little drier than i anticipated they wouldn't hold together crumbled so i have i always have frosting almost always i almost always have frosting in my overstock storage so luckily today it saved the day and now i'm trying to form little balls to make the snowmen and melting the white chocolate okay i said white chocolate and i mean i guess they're similar this is actually almond bark it took about five repeats on 30 seconds to get it good and melty does anyone else see Instagram Reels or TikToks and think, Psh, I can do that? Yeah, this is this is what happens. Yeah, um, but sometimes I think it's really good to show the process and not be like, voila, I am perfect. So we're gonna go through this, all of the um, messy details, and. It's cookies and frosting and white chocolate. They're gonna be delicious, no matter what they turn out as. While I'm waiting for that guy to set up, I'm gonna roll the others. I'm gonna start with bottoms. You want the bottoms, and I have huge hands, so everything comes out big. But I guess this guy's backwards. You really want the bottom a little bit bigger than the top. You could do three, but I think they look cute as too, especially where it's like, you know, a cookie pop or a cake pop. Um, the bites make more sense in two, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. The skewer, not your best tool for this. Try to use a, like, sucker stick, which they sell them at Walmart, which is where my husband's stopping, but I'm gonna be fine and he's gonna be cute. So we're going to make sure he's nice and coated. A sucker stick will be so much sturdier. You want to tap off all the excess for a couple of reasons. Oh no! Um. So that's not gonna work. With the chocolate being warm and the cookie and the frosting, it just dawned on me, they probably need to go in the freezer for a minute or two. All right, I'm gonna cool my jets. I'm gonna drink some Coke Zero. Wait for my husband to get home. We're gonna stick these in the freezer for like five-ish, 10-ish minutes. We're gonna do this again. Okay, so I think, I think we've got it. You guys are gonna have to watch the short for the epic fail. Um, but we're gonna get it together. Us right here. So we froze these for a bit. I'm melting the almond bark again. So the almond bark's melting again, like I was saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my stuff up. Um, sorry, I was walking away. I have a bad habit. I have a bad habit of doing that. 
Do you guys use Dollar Tree parchment paper? I love it. It's especially great for projects like this or just those random, I don't know. Um, I use it almost for like this stuff now. All right, we're gonna, down here too. All right, so we're gonna start working on getting it set up. I'm gonna keep testing the almond bark. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what I think needs to happen is we've got to get white chocolate on the sticks. got to kind of set up like that and then we dip the whole thing in white chocolate. I tried this on the last one and it worked. We'll see if it's a one-time thing or if it's the way I need to do it but I did that. See? Okay. See? Yep. We're getting it guys. These are going to be tasty and cute. Ha! They won't beat me. cake pieces in the white chocolate like it was no big deal and it's fine we, we have chubby droid like snowman and you know what it's fine okay one or more of you makes regularly have done these before do these for a living do these as a hobby you were possibly And I don't want to melt more for one. Holy crap. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, we are supposed to not So I've got the cream. And then I've got almond bark. I feel like I can't win. I feel like it's going to be way too much. We're going to start with one square. It's fine. Cute. So we're going to start. He's the cutest. We're going to start with him. All right. I've got chips and just easy frosting. So I've got Betty Crocker black decorator icing. Thought about using the chocolate chips I showed y'all earlier. I got both to feel it out, but we're going to start with the icing because, you know, kind of consistent. So maybe we'll make the hat and dip the whole thing. I don't know. I'm running out of steam, guys. I'm recovering from a cold and it's sneaking up on me. So kind of got it melted. We're going to try this. We're going to stick him on a skewer. If you are Oh, 
Marcello's are revolting. <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's fine. There.
It was a process. It was fun. I think it if I weren't just kind of being tired as the night went on. You know, I'm running out of steam. Otherwise, I would have a little bit more patience, but for fun, the kids love them. They really were not that hard. I'll definitely try them again. Uh, I think they're fun, I think they're cute. And I wanna play around with some like little scarves and stuff. Another day, <laughs> the badge of snowman. Um, <laughs> another day. Um, as for the dates, I was telling you guys, we will officially be back January 4th. Like I said, there'll be shorts, there'll be a Christmas video. So we'll have content, there'll be social media content. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Pancakes and Pandemonium. And we're working on getting a Facebook page up and running. It's not quite as regular as Instagram though. We're working on it though, but it's also Pancakes and Pandemonium. So look for us. You are gonna wanna be following us on Instagram if you're not already, because Sunday we're doing a drawing and we're doing one live on YouTube and we're doing a second drawing and we'll be doing a post on Instagram. So you don't wanna miss that. But you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, thanks for enduring and laughing with me. I hope you were laughing with me. <laughs> It's more fun if we're all laughing together. And you guys don't forget to check out Tiffany's channel and the other ladies in the playlist. Get some great holiday baking ideas. If you try these, send them to me on Instagram. I wanna see if yours turned out as crazy or if yours turned out cuter. I'd love to see them. And you guys come back. There's gonna be more. Uh, some things I'm much better at. Other things might be just as much a comedy of errors. You gotta tune in to find out. I can't wait to see you back here. I love you. I am grateful for your support. Don't forget to check out Tiffany and the other ladies. I'm gonna see you back here soon. Bye.